stance as Ross comes set. Broken bat looper down the left field line. Tough play. Elvis Beltre going over. It's a foul ball. Foul ball, but Adrian is down after the collision. Well, he almost made some kind of play right there. That ball looked like it was in his glove before the collision. It was right down the line. Looked like it was going to be a fair ball. Adrian's up and moving around a little bit, but definitely shaken up on the play. Now Mark Wagner, the uh, third base umpire, down there to make the call immediately. Is able to listen. And he's hoping that the uh, the time off will change his fortunes. Off of Beltre, over to Elvis, the hard throw, and they got him. Nice play. Good reaction by Elvis on the carom off. Andrews, I think, doing some, the midge out of some his midge, midge prepare for Adrian Beltre. They don't bite, but that doesn't mean that they're not a uh, huge pest. They don't want to stick his fingers in his eyes. He's trying to blow it out of his eye. <laughs> <laughs> No, Cole to work here in the eighth inning. The first pitch to Fitchick is now popped up. <laughs> Beltre, Elvis, and we haven't seen them have a, have a chance to uh, play that game lately. It's nice to see him back in. in the umpire just started laughing like crazy out there. Well, who's the second base umpire? Jim Joyce. <laughs> oh, you missed it. He was just he was just about ready to fire the glove at him. Watch, here comes. <laughs> and the only time the Mariners got their leadoff man aboard in an inning. And Morales grounded into a 4-6-3 double play that took care of it. Here he's going to pop out for the second out of inning number seven. Elvis is there right behind Adrian Beltre, who's explaining to him where his line is, and Elvis can't go there. Elvis is not. I'm back on the grass. Elvis is saying. I don't mind you doing that, but just don't come too close. Look, there's the line <laughs> there's right the line. there. Don't right. go past the line, dude. No smiles Here's in that Figaro, one. who homered to left center his first time up. Pitch in the dirt. It gets by Castro. Here comes Beltre. He scores. And then Adrian slips over home plate. He touched home plate with his left foot, but he slipped and fell. He gets up immediately. He's okay. And that's a good sign. Uh, the guys will give him some... Uh, the trouble for that down in the dugout, but happy that he has scored and is healthy. Five nothing on the wild pitch, uncorked by me. Who is number two in Major League Baseball with his average, number one in the National League, and he's 0 for 4. Left side, it is Andrews with Beltre <laughs> playing around. Who went for the deke? I did. He decoyed, so did the guy he, calling he, it. He decoyed both of us. Look at this. Kid never having played there before to make those plays. Think of all. I mean, maybe Mark Teixeira when he was in his prime with the Rangers and was a Gold Glove caliber first baseman. You know, maybe you might think of him making that kind of a play, but he's made two or three of these. He's hardly ever played there. And they're going to overturn the call. He's going to be safe at first base. And we saw a replay on the scoreboard. We didn't have access to it, but there was apparently one angle that uh, was pretty definitive. That showed uh, Jurex's foot just lifted it right over the first baseman's head. Softly for an RBI double. All it takes. They had a walk. And now he's got a double and an RBI to go along with it. Elvis is talking. Elvis, Elvis <laughs> is talking about his home run trap. Yeah. <laughs> he wouldn't even shake his head. <laughs>